Good morning and welcome to this Monday Minute. I hope you're having a great start to a terrific week. Um, on Sundays, we've been going through a series called Questions. Several weeks ago, we started this series asking the question, am I going to heaven? And we looked at Romans 10, 9, that if you will confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God is raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And I, if I were to ask you that question this morning, could you answer, yes, I'm going to heaven, and this is how I know I'm going to heaven, that I have confessed Jesus as Lord in my life, I live for him, and I believe in his word. A couple of weeks ago, we asked the question, what's on your mind? How our mind is cluttered with so many thoughts throughout the day. And we get distracted by life. But really, we need to be controlling what we think about because negative thoughts can get us in trouble. And then we need to make a major portion of the things we think about on the things of God, how we need to be focusing on the kingdom of God and what God wants us to do to grow his kingdom in the hearts of men and women. And then yesterday, we asked the question, where do I belong? A lot of people ask that question. They're wondering, where do I belong? Do I have a place that I fit in in this world? And we looked at your belonging and your sense of belonging begins with God. And then when you have a relationship with God, he'll place you in the right place where you can belong. And that we take ownership of that belonging by owning the place and investing our time and energy into the place God has given us, whether it's your marriage, your work. Um, your family, or the church, and then you'll have that sense of belonging. Today, I want to follow up on the message we're um, kind of transitioning from last Sunday to this coming Sunday. This coming Sunday, I'm going to ask, what's your place? And I want to read Ephesians uh, chapter 4 about the fivefold ministry. It says here, he who descended and is himself who also ascended, we know that's Christ, far above all heaven, so that he might fill all things. And then it goes on, and he gave some as apostles, and some as prophets, and some as evangelists, and some as pastors, and some as teachers. And this is key, the next verse, verse 12, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of service to the building up of the body of Christ. See, my role as a pastor, and the role of these positions that God has placed into the church, is to equip everyone in the body of Christ so that they can do the work of the ministry. What is the work of the ministry? Well, it's whatever God calls you to do. It's uh, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's discipling the next generation. It's teaching. It is showing acts of compassion where we serve others and show the kindness and the love of God in practical ways. It's worshiping God together as a family of God. And there's so many things that God calls us to do. And my role as a pastor is to help you fulfill your calling and your role in the body of Christ. And so uh, when we come together and the teachings and in the, the sharing that I do is to equip you to be fulfilled in what God's called you to do. And next week, I'm going to be talking about um, uh, what's my place? Where do I fit in in the body of Christ? And so I encourage you to watch this Sunday or come to the services in person. We have them at 10 and 11 either indoors or outdoors. And so uh, I encourage you to come into the service, the in-person services, or watch online this coming Sunday. Special message, I think, will encourage you. And you have a blessed week. God has a purpose for you. And uh, seek him, and he will show you what he wants you to do this week. And you will have a wonderful week in the Lord. God bless.